Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are now able to make ourselves a lockpick. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we also have a guest right outside the house, Mr. Moose. Hello there, Bullwinkle. What is up, dude? All right, we're not going to mess with him. Um, let's fill this guy back up. I was going to actually do a little bit of fishing. Uh, I was waiting for the power uh, to get all the way back up on the BCU to make that. And then I got sidetracked with some IRL stuff, and uh, when I came back, I heard footsteps outside, and it, happened, it turned out to be Bullwinkle instead of other hunters, so that's a good thing. Uh, they are going to show up, though, any time now. Um, they're probably in the world by now, I think, uh, but we'll get a notification from the game when they, when they actually set up their first BCU uh, as well. Um, so anyway, it is noonish right now and so we're gonna grab that lock pick and go out and see if we can find didn't we have a zinc here last time no i think this was an iron uh, uh see if we can find another lock crate so we're gonna go back over to our old standby location uh, which is the birchwood forest uh, the arch is also a good place to find those uh, but i think the birchwood forest uh, well they're both probably equal distances away so let's get on up here uh, we'll put that in there. I've got uh, a piece of rabbit meat in, or chicken meat, I guess, in there. We'll eat that. Uh, we're pretty darn low on fruits and vegetables. And we're kind of low on our, our beverage, too. Uh, so let's put all this stuff in here. Grab our lockpick. And we'll put this stuff in here. And uh, I'm just going to actually turn this on if it runs the power out it doesn't really matter uh, because of the fact that we don't have a, uh, a fridge set up we'll have to be more uh, mindful of that you know once we do get a refrigerator set up but for now it doesn't matter uh, so that way we can get going on some more fragments uh, we don't quite have enough we have enough for 17 we'll need two more pieces of iron to make the next lock pick uh, when the time comes okay so let's drink that and let's go fill it up again Grab that guy. And we'll probably wait for it to finish. Take another drink to get that all back before we set out. So I will um, tell you what. I'll probably just meet you guys over at uh, the Birchwood Forest or at least along the way. So I'll be back in a bit. All right. So I changed my mind because I guess the arch is closer to us than Birchwood. I was thinking it was a little further away. Um, so yeah, this is a good place for lock crates, and I think I might even see one. No, that's just a normal crate. Okay, so yeah, let's just kind of look around here. We'll hit that birch tree. There is a wolf, a rabbit, and I think a locked crate at the wolf's garden. I Well, I can't tell. Can't tell for sure. Let's go around this way. No, I think that's just another normal crate. I uh, don't really want to waste a shotgun shell for a normal crate. I would definitely would for a locked crate. So let's just leave that one where it is for now. And maybe we'll check back later and see if the wolf has moved far enough along. Assuming it's even still there. Okay, let's move out this way. Um, he's kind of moving away from it now, isn't he? Let's see if he ke keeps moving even further. No, he started going back towards it again. Okay, yeah, we'll check back later then. Let's go kind of around this way, though. Uh, I'll grab this fiber here. He's guarding that crate, isn't he? He's saying, that's my crate. If you want it, you're going to have to come and get bit. Let's go around this way. Ah, oh, crap. Big old bar. No, no, no. You just... I'm out of here. You grumpy old dude. All right, well, let's keep working uh, northwards then towards the uh, Central Valley because that is also a good place for crates to spawn. And here's an ammo crate. Oh, and a bear. Shit. Let's move away from the bear. Uh, keep
keep on trucking. That's a pig. Don't have to worry about him unless we get too close to him. Uh, there is a rabbit there that I would like to get, though. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that shot was going to miss as soon as it left the bow. But it didn't break the arrow, so that's a good thing. Okay, there's a building crate. The rabbit's just right over there. There we go. There we go. And he's still alive. Perfect. Well, not for him. <laughs> Poor feller. There's another bunny. Let's see where he decides to end up at. The rabbits run further away than the chickens do. Oh, they're... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if that's him or if that's a new rabbit. Doesn't matter, we'll take it. Okay, let's run through here. We'll stop off at the central pond and get some kelp. Because we do need carbs also. And we do need to be careful of rogues. Yeah, there's a wolf and a bear right there. Let's go around this way. Starting to get on in the day. All right, there's a crate down here. Ammo crate. No shotgun shells, though. Oh, there's some rogues. Right over there. Okay. I'd rather not mess with them. I don't ever really want to mess with rogues, because they waste your ammo, and they don't usually drop very good stuff. What we do need to be careful of, though, is since they're in this vicinity... Uh, they could go down to the pond to fish. Um, let's look at the map for a second, see exactly where we're at. All right, so the pond is going to be... Where is the pond? I think it's going to be more over in this area. Uh, but yeah, it's getting dark. We got we to gotta get back. Okay, well, what I think I'm going to do then is... Start working my way back. And um, what I usually do when I get caught out at night as I work my way back towards the base, which, by the way, for the new you guys that are new to the game, you can see that dot um, on my screen. That's where my BCU is. Um, uh, but what I usually do is I, I just cut wood on the way back. So I will probably do that. And then I'll meet you guys in the morning. And we'll go we'll go to Birchwood in the morning. Um, especially now that we know that there's some rogues over here. And uh, hopefully we'll find a lock crate there. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Or unless something crazy happens between now and then. All right, guys, it is morning and uh, we need one more iron scrap here. And then we'll be able to actually make the rifle. So we're going to do that first. Um, well, we haven't used our lock pickup anyway. And so, yeah. We're going to do that and then uh, head to the Birchwood Forest to uh, see if we can find a, a locked crate. So I think in terms of what we're going to make next, uh, we need to make a bed for a spawn point. Um, we need to make a crop plot and, you know, hopefully we can find some tomato seeds because tomato seed or tomatoes specifically are the best things to, to grow uh, early on simply because they give you the most bang for their for the buck. Uh, when you eat them raw, before we can get to the point where we can make dishes with them. Oh, excuse me, and we do the power generator too, and then of course we need to make the tanks. Um, so, if we find tomato seeds before I'm ready to make the next stuff, we'll make this. If we don't, we'll probably 
uh, make the bed next. We have all the, the other stuff for that. Okay, look at this. We got everything we need for the rifle now. Um, so let's go over here and uh, we need scrap, planks, and cloth. And there we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, put all this stuff back. Uh, let's grab the rifle rounds out of here. We have 14 rifle rounds, which is actually pretty good. Uh, just from, straight up from loot. And we now have ourselves a, a rifle, which will go in slot number four. Um, actually... Do, 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 do. Two, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how I want to do it. Okay. All right, let's get the sucker loaded up. Now, we're not... You, I'm not planning on using the rifle for anything but hunters. Um, at least early on here. Uh, so let's just let this... We don't really need copper or zinc or any of that stuff or anything for a while. So let's just let that sit and let the power build back up in the BCU. Um, now, the hunters are quite possibly here. But, of course, it's going to take them a while to, to build up. So, what we might do is go across over this way and see if we can spot any of them while we work our way t uh, towards the, um, the Birchwood Forest. If they're in this area, we'll probably aggro them, though, because there's just not enough room to evade them but we do you know we do want to know where they are as soon as possible I'm just trying to see if I can look across from here and see anything I don't okay let's swim over there okay we're gonna kind of stay along the fence uh, and just move in this direction. There's some strawberries. We'll grab those. And just kind of, you know, be somewhat careful. We're just not going to go running like headlong into this area in case we come across them. Uh, I don't think that wolf will bother us if we. Just stay up here. Okay, we got a rabbit there. Let's get him. Not spotting anything yet. I hope they don't settle in the birchwood forest. That would actually kind of suck. That is a really good place to farm. There's another bunny. Ammo crate here. Nice, we got another shotgun shell. Um, three is the shotgun. All right, so we have a full magazine in our shotgun. That's really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, well, I didn't notice anything along the backside of that that area uh, in terms of hunters. It is possible that they're still not in yet. Or my... Uh, notion of them building in an arc around the BCU is complete BS. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. I did mention though that I, I didn't know if that was officially true. I just had heard that. All right, 
Let's move away from Air Wolf there. Oh, nope, nope. There they are. Damn it. They are in the birchwood. Okay. Well, that's going to make uh, things interesting. That is going to make things interesting. Okay, well, shit. That's not a locked crate. No, I think that's a building crate down there. All right, let's move up this direction. I don't know, uh, you know, which hunter that is. We won't really be able to tell for a while yet. Uh, but for those of you who are new, there's basically three, I guess you'd call levels of hunter. Um, and some players of this game call them Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Alpha is the smallest hunter, and they just build a small base, and they don't have uh, a workbench in their base. Bravo builds, a, I guess, what you would call a medium-sized base. It's not really too much bigger than Alpha's, but it does have a workbench and a couple of more things. And the reason that's important is because uh, when we go to raid them, um, you know, we, we could potentially use their workbench and their power and mass to make things. And then Charlie makes a big, sprawling, giant fortress base. And they have lots of loot and are a lot harder, obviously, to, to break into. Uh, I thought that was maybe something there. Okay, well, it's uh, kind of a bummer that they're settling in Birchwood, but it is what it is. We've made our bed. we got to sleep in it now. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's, uh, let's kind of move along here. We could attack those guys now, but the problem is they're not... Uh, they're, they're not going to have anything for us to loot, so I'd kind of rather wait until there's going to be some loot for us to get and make it worthwhile. And, you know, the hunters kind of have two modes. They have the random attack mode, which they will periodically just come and attack you for no reason. Um, or or I, sh I guess I should say without provocation. And then they have... Revenge mode, where if you attack them, then they definitely come and get after you. And it could be as soon as that night of the day you attacked, or the day after, you know, that sort of thing. So, I don't really want to go looking for trouble until it's worth it to go looking for trouble. Uh, so, yeah, right now, all we would get is whatever they drop, and they don't usually drop really good stuff. They drop decent stuff, but nothing super good. I should pay attention. My stamina's, stamina's all out. All right. Well, let's just kind of keep working up around this way and see if we can determine uh, where the other ones may be settling in at. Grab this zinc here. The other thing that the BCU does is it, it spawns cougars, um, which we don't have to worry about in, until and unless we go up closer to the mountains. Uh, we are going to be hunting them at some point when we can handle it uh, because they drop uh, sinew, which we need for some higher end stuff here in the game. The moose will also drop sinew and you can also find them in locked chests, but the cougars give the overall best drop rate. They're also very, very dangerous, though. Okay. So, yeah, let's just kind of keep looking around here. See if we can discover the other locations. I'm going to leave that ore there for now. No, 
don't see anything off that way. We've got a bear over there we have to watch out for. Let's go up and around over here. There is a rabbit right there. Okay, I do see a, a crate of some sort over there. It looks like it might be a building crate, but I can't really tell for sure. Let's go over this direction. The thing about the hunters is... Uh, is that a structure? No, it's not. Okay. Is, uh... If you get too close to their base, uh, even without attacking them they consider it attack and then then they'll come after you they don't like trespassing and even though they do it themselves they're hypocrites <laughs> oh we're in bad shape we're in really bad shape okay let's eat all of these uh, we got plenty of food here um, protein we just gotta get back and cook it all right we, yeah we gotta get we gotta get back home I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was too busy looking for hunters. Um, let's just take a quick walk, though, through this part of the birchwood. Just look real quickly for a uh, locked chest. Always watching over that direction. It's just a normal chest. There's a potato plant down there. All right, I'm just going to kind of peek my head up over the top of the ridge here. Without getting, there's their fire and their platform there, yeah. Okay. This is about all the further I dare go without... Risky and aggroing them. Well, a time, you know, will come where we can just come here and get locked crates and screw them, man. If they get pissed and want to go to war, we'll go to war with them. But we're not ready for that yet. <laughs> not quite yet. Let's check this building crate. And we'll grab the potassium here. Now I have found locked crates kind of right along through here too. Most of the time they're more deeper into the forest though. Well, let's start heading back, because we are in bad shape on protein. We've got the got the protein to cook. We just got to get back to do it. And yeah, maybe we'll pick up a little bit more here, too. Let's see what's in here. More glorious nails. We have over 100 nails at this point with what's back at the base, so I'm liking that.
Yeah, our stamina's not doing so good with no protein. Okay, I'm not seeing any crates over that way. Uh, so I think we're going to just swim from here and get back. I'm going to go after any kelp, though. There's two right there. Nice. Okay. Let's cook this meat up here. Okay, that gets our protein back under control. Well, all right, so we have gone all around that way. Now, we didn't look right along the shore, though. It's possible that we may be <clears throat> a little bit out of render distance from here. But we know we got the one hunter base up that way. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just have to keep looking around until, you know, we can find wherever the other hunter base is. But, guys, I think uh, I'm not quite sure where we are on time. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then... Um, I'll probably just stay close to the island until nighttime and do some fishing and that sort of thing. And then in the morning, we'll set out again and, um, you know, keep looking for locked chests, keep looting as usual, and keeping our eyes out for the other two hunter locations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.